Hi, this is just a short video to show you maybe why we use significant figures sometimes. One of the reasons is so we can estimate what are more difficult sums, just to get a rough idea of what the answers are. So let's have a look, get straight into some examples. So for these ones, I want us to round to one significant figure first and then estimate. So remember, one significant figure you should already have been shown how to do this. So one significant figure means we're going to keep like the first digit from the left. So on the first number, we are going to keep potentially the 5. We'll look at the next number, which is an 8. An 8 in rounded means that that 5 is going to go up to 6. Now, the other three digits all become zeros to keep the place value correct so that that number is roughly the same size. So that's 6,000 plus. Now, we're going to keep the 2. The next number is a 1. 1 doesn't do anything in rounding, so it stays as 2, and the rest all becomes zeros. So the sum is 6,000 plus 2,000. Now, one thing I should have mentioned, that shouldn't be equal signs. That should be like a wavy equal sign, which means like an, an approximation. It means shows that we're estimating. We're saying that that sum is roughly 6,000 plus 2,000, which is 8,000. Okay? So we're saying that that's 8,000. And again, sorry, they should be a bit more wobbly. Right, the next one, let's round to one significant figure. So the 5 is potentially going to stay. The next number is a 7, so that 5 is going to go up. So that becomes 600 times, keep the 2 maybe, the next number is an 8. That will mean that turns into a 3. So it becomes 600 times 300. Now the trick here is you do 6 times 3 is 18, 2 zeros and 2 zeros there. So you add four zeros to your answer. So that is roughly 180,000. Okay, so you can see why rounding makes that sum a wee bit better. So we can get a rough answer of what it is. If you want, you could actually go use a calculator, work out where these are and see how close they are. But we don't really need to do that because we're just estimating today. Right, round each number to one significant figure again. So the first one, I'm going to keep the five. The next number is an, a 1. A 1 does nothing in rounding. So that's roughly 5,000 divided by 49. The 9 is going to make the 4 go up, so that's roughly 50. So the sum is 5,000 divided by 50. Now the trick is here you can cancel off zeros. You might not have done these sums for a long while. So you're left with 500 divided by 5, and hopefully you spot that that's 100. So the answer there was roughly 100. And a number 4... We're going to round them all to one significant figure first. So don't let the decimals put you off. We're going to keep the 2. The 6 will make that go up. So instead of 26, that will become 30. The 2.75, we're going to keep the 2. But then looking at the 7, that means the 2 is going to round up to 3. So there's it to one significant figure. And 4.89, the 8 will make the 4 go up to 5. So it becomes that. Now, hopefully, you remember something called BODMAS. BODMAS will tell you to do the multiplication first of all. So that's roughly 30 take away 15, which is 15. Okay, so remember BIDMAS, BODMAS, whatever you've been taught for those ones. The last one I wanted to show you is what if they asked us to do to two significant figures? It's going to make it a bit trickier, but look at this one. So to two significant figures, I'm going to potentially keep the 7 and the 1. The 8 will make the 1 go up to a 2. So that becomes 7,200 divided by, now to two significant figures, the 2 is not going to do anything. So that's going to stay as 3, 6, 0. Now I can cancel off some zeros here and it becomes 720 divided by 36. Now you might think that's impossible, but look a wee bit closer. There will be a connection between the numbers. We're not going to give you ones that you can't do mentally. 36 doubled is 72, so that goes in exactly twice. So th 72 divided by 36 is 2. There's still a 0 there, so my answer is approximately 20. And that's all I really want to show you today, so I hope you've understood that and followed it. Thank you very much.